Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Franco Martinez of Berlin. In sixth grade, my math teacher's name was Mrs. Morris. Mrs. Morris was the teacher who scared her students. There was no attitude with Miss Morris ever. There was no talking back. And there was definitely no showing up late or showing up without your homework done. And so Miss Morris, she was, she was tough on her students, but it's because she wanted the best for her students. And so one day she tells our class that if anyone gets a 90 or above, they'd get kudos from her. And so I'm sitting there and I hear, okay, if I get a 90 or better, I'm getting a kudos. Because back then, I, I don't know if they're still around, but back then, the kudos granola bar was a big deal. It was probably the unhealthiest granola bar on the market, but I think that's probably why I liked it so much. And so kudos to those who pass the test with a 90 or better. And so me and my friend Isaac, I think we were the only ones who got a 90 or better. And so test results come and we're sitting there and we are waiting for this promise to be fulfilled. And the class time keeps passing and passing. And as the time gets shorter and shorter before we're dismissed, I, I start to get worried because I'm like, wait a second. I don't see a box of kudos on her desk. What's going on? on here and sure enough class dismisses she stands by the door and as we walk out she says to us kudos for getting a 90 or better <laughs> can i tell you something i was a little bit unfulfilled because you see i had a different impression of the promise that she had made i was expecting a granola bar and instead the teacher stood at the door and simply said kudos i want you to know something today there is a promise for you and that promise has the name of jesus jesus the name that is above every other name i want you to know there is no other name that holds greater promise for you than the name of jesus no one else nothing else compares to jesus we see the power of a promise reflected in Abraham and Isaac. And with Abraham and Isaac, Abraham is un in disbelief that he is going to have a son because his wife is so old. But I love that God challenges Abraham and he's like, yeah, why don't you go count the stars in the sky? God challenging Abraham to do something that is literally impossible with the human eye. Why? God wasn't asking, is there anything too hard for the Lord? God was saying as a statement of fact, is there anything too hard for the Lord? No, there isn't. And though Abraham messes up because he didn't know the name of the promise, he goes and he tries to make the promise happen on his own with Ishmael. God again proves the power of a promise and the faithfulness of a promise by having the promise come through Isaac. And the best part of this story of promise, the power of a promise, is when you look in the New Testament and you see Isaac described as the only begotten son of Abraham. Scripture doesn't make mistakes. Obviously, Abraham had another child by the name of Ishmael. And so if Scripture doesn't make mistakes, what is the significance of Isaac being labeled the only begotten son of God? Let's look a little deeper. The only begotten son of God takes a three-day journey with his father to the mountaintop where he was going to be sacrificed. The mountain named Moriah upon which some scholars say the temple of sacrifice was built upon. And so the only begotten son carries the wood on his back to the mountaintop where he was going to be sacrificed. And there they find the ram with its head in a thorn bush. Why? The power of the promise was not the promise that God was going to keep to Abraham through Isaac, but the promise that was going to come through Jesus, the only begotten son who would wear an altar in the form of a wooden cross on his back to a mountaintop wearing a crown of thorns where he would be sacrificed for you 
and for me. That is the power of the promise in Jesus. You've been listening to Pastor Franco Martinez of Berlin, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.